This is Ron Thorne. I'm in Pekin at the bakery department, and I noticed that you've selected a loaf of colonial bread. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. And who are you, please? Mrs. Roy Weaver. Mrs. Weaver, you're from which city? Mapleton. Well, are you any relation to that uh, WIRO radio personality, Robin? No, I'm sorry. I have a boy named Robin, though. You do? Yes, I do. Is he anything at all like ours? Uh, I don't... Well, yes, in a way, I think he is. He's, he's quite a character. <laughs> this is, uh, Mrs. Weaver, what does the, uh, the hubby do for a living? He works at Heister's in the maintenance department. And how large of a family do you have there at your home in Mapleton? I have two boys at home yet. One is Robin, and the other's name is what? Stephen. Stephen. And you've selected not one, but two loaves of colonial bread. Oh, four. four loaves of bread? I didn't see. I guess they're buried under some cookies. Could we ask you why you've selected all of the colonial bakery products over all the others? Well, I have always bought it, and I like it, and that's it. Before you skip out of the store and make your way back to Mapleton, Illinois, we'd like to present you with a colonial gift certificate. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Mrs. Roy Weaver of Mapleton, Illinois. Double fresh colonial bread. This is Ron Thorne. I'm in Pekin, and I've stopped a grocery shopper who has selected a loaf of colonial bread. Hi, how are you this fine afternoon? Fine, thank you. And who are you, please? Mrs. Hill on Holland Court in Creve Coeur. In Creve Coeur, and you're doing your grocery shopping. Vanilla wafers you have, some good-looking peppermint marshmallows, and a loaf of colonial bread. Why did you select colonial bread over all the others? Well, we used it out at the plant, out at Laternal Westinghouse all the time, and we liked it so well that we, we used to use it all the time, and we changed to the Colonial. And uh, that's at Laternal Westinghouse. Were you an employee there? Did you work in the cafeteria? Uh, that's right, and I retired a week ago today. A week ago today, and what have you been doing with all that spare time lately? Oh, the girls comes over, and we have lunch together, and we have sandwiches and peanut butter and toast, and so, of course, I have to have a large loaf of bread for all of that. What does the hubby do? Does he work at Laternal? He works at Laternal's also. And aside from your other daughter that we interviewed, do you have any other children? We have two go two other daughters. One lives in Creve Coeur and one lives in, in, in uh, Peoria. We'd like to present you with a Colonial Bread gift certificate. Oh, thank you very much. Double fresh Colonial Bread. Hello, sir. Could I have a Hi. second of your time? Yes, sir. We're here in Pekin, and we're chatting with the grocery shoppers who have selected Colonial Bread. Could I have your name, sir? Uh, Donald Adson. And you live where, sir? A route to Manitou. And you've selected a loaf of colonial bread among many other items. Could I ask you why you've selected colonial well, bread over all the others? Mainly, I think it's the best. It always seems fresh. And it's moist. That's what I like in a good loaf of bread. What do you like in between two thick slices of uh, colonial bread? Oh, uh, salami. Tastes good for lunch. And how about the missus? Does she go uh, along with that? Uh, yeah, she likes a salami sandwich once in a while. Mr. Dodson, what do you do for a living? Uh... Well, I got two things. I work at Keystone Steel and Wire, which is a good place to work, and I grow Christmas trees as a sideline. I noticed that you have in your grocery cart an entire case of bug spray. What are you going to use this for? Well, uh, there's always bugs after the trees, and we spot spray with that. And Mr. Dodson, we would like to present you with a colonial gift certificate from the bakers of Good Fresh Colonial Bread. All righty, thanks a lot. Double Fresh Colonial Bread. This is Ron Thorne. I'm in Sunnyland, and we're talking with a mail shopper right now who stopped to pick up a loaf of colonial bread. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you? And who are you? Harold Puckett. And you live right here in the Sunnyland area? Yes. Uh-huh. What would that street address be? 107 Doris. You've stopped to pick up a loaf of colonial bread. Do you have a basket around the corner someplace? No, not yet. All you need is colonial bread. Could well, we ask you, Mr. Puckett, why you selected colonial over all the other brands? Well, we like it best. I noticed that you had a loaf of Brand X in your hand. You put it down and picked up the colonial. Did you deliberate there for a second? Well, for a moment. I was just looking for the colonial. <laughs> Are you a, uh, a man that uh, takes sandwiches with you to work? Uh, and where do you work, sir? Uh, Laterno Westinghouse. Do you take a lunch with you? Yes. And I would imagine that you're uh, a healthy eater. You look like a, a rather good-sized man, a very healthy man, too. How many sandwiches do you pack a, a day? About two. And what's your favorite sandwich? Oh, ham. Mr. Puckett, it's been our pleasure to talk with you. And when you leave, we would like to present you with a Colonial Bread gift certificate. Thank you. Double Fresh Colonial Bread.